Hey guys, Mike Chen. So this is um, sometimes what I do when I'm in Singapore. I just go to a new food center I've never been before and just see what's available. Because a lot of food stuff sometimes don't show up on search apps. And also, exploring is just fun. And here today I am at the Great World Shopping Center. And I run into this, Hoto Tobisu Ramen. And right now, they have a Michelin star. Let's go check it out. I've never tried this ramen place before. Um, so they have a super value set, which for about $5 you get an appetizer and a drink. That's a pretty good deal. And the ramen ranges around 13 to 15 Singapore dollars. When you get a ramen set, I think I'll do that. This is so exciting. As soon as they brought the ramen over, oh my goodness, the aroma is just, I'm still dizzy from the knockout punch that threw me. So I got two. This is the oyster ramen. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. This is an oyster shio, so it's a very light broth. Roasted peppers, some arugula on top, chopped onions, scallions, chashu, and they make their own noodles in the house. I think these are buckwheat noodles. Wow, this is way different than any ramen broth I've ever had before. So much depth. As soon as the broth goes down your throat, you get hit by that awesome oyster flavor. Wow, it's so present. Mm. Noodle is very chewy. It has a subtle sweetness on its own as well. It's a very, very light, interesting broth. I think if you really like oysters, this will definitely be your thing. I gotta try this other bowl. This one is the quad meat. So there's four different types of meat in here. So there's uh, meatballs, there is wonton, iberical pork wonton, chashu, and duck in here. So this is definitely the more aggressively seasoned bowl of noodle. Same type of noodle in here. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is good. I think the last ramen, the oyster broth, I think it's good. It's good. This is sensational. This ramen has much more of a seafood flavor. Again, very aggressively seasoned, but you taste so much of that nice shrimp and seafood. The broth is thick, it's rich, packed full of umami. I'll try out this. Iberico pork wonton. This is delicious. Mmm, really thin skin, packed full of meat. And the meat itself exudes such amazing flavor. And the flavor just drips out more as you chew. Mmm. All that great seafood flavor went into these noodles as well. This is a duck. Mm. Duck is smoky, it's tender. Oh, I think it's chicken meatball. That's delicious. And the chashu. That's okay. It's a bit lean. I think my favorite thing here is the wonton and the duck. Oh, actually my favorite thing here is the broth. Wow. This thing is spicy. Also has that nice seafoody sweetness. This is a really good bowl of ramen. Also, I got their fried tofu with bonito flakes on top. Hmm. This thing is really tender inside. Almost like a tofu pudding. The outside, very crispy. I like this. And the dumplings. That's okay. Light skin, a little crunchy. My favorite thing though, that quad meat ramen, that seafood ramen. Wow, that's definitely worth coming for a taste. And I also read the story of the chef. And he started with just a tiny little restaurant, like a five seater. And for the first few years, he was only selling about five bowls of ramen a day, almost going bankrupt. Sold all his stuff, started living inside his ramen shop, trying to perfect his ramen. And now, it's got a mission to start. Wonderful story, delicious ramen. That's hard work you can taste. Back in Chinatown, haven't been to this food center in such a long time, Maxwell Food Center. I think this is the first place I ever went to when I first came to Singapore. There's a couple of places I really want to visit. And if you've never been to hawker centers before, pretty easy to spot which stalls are the best. Just look for the long lines. This one right here, I don't think I've ever been here before. That's a pretty long line. Also today after it rained, such a breezy, cool day. This might be the coolest day I've experienced here in Singapore. This feels borderline like autumn. This is so nice. Look at this, that line right there. Tian Tian chicken rice. 
I haven't had Tintin chicken rice yet. I won't be able to have it today. That is such a long line. Got a bowl of shrimp and fish, uh, rice noodle soup. Oh, they left the best part of the shrimp in here. The shrimp head. White flaky fillets of fish. Oh, they give you quite a bit of shrimp in here. Greens, some delicious looking rice noodles. So they serve two different types of fish and the better tasting one was sold out right before I got there. Ah, super so good. It's light, pretty clear, and definitely you should get the version with the shrimp. It's got that delicious fish taste. In Chinese, we call it xian. It basically is a word to describe seafood, like shrimp and fish. Meaning they got this nice, fresh flavor. And this thing, it's got all that great subtle flavor of the fish. You can definitely taste the shrimp in here. Oh, that fish meat is so good. Delicate and flaky, and it's got such great flavor even on its own. Wow, it's so clean with a natural hint of sweetness. This is awesome. Look how beautiful that is. I'm just gonna dip it in some sauce too, just to try it out. Mm. Really, you don't need it. I think it's better just tasting the natural flavor of this fish cooked in this broth. That's just so good. Prawn is amazing. Besides that nice texture, the flavor is so profound. And this is where most of that flavor comes from, the shrimp head. Ooh, it's like getting a sip of that elixir from the source. Mm, rice noodles, extremely flavorful after swimming in this delicious broth all day. This is just a very light but flavorful meal. This is really healthy for you too. This is definitely a place I will highly recommend. That yeah, fish is so good, so good. Like when I'm tasting it, I didn't think it was gonna have that much flavor because it just looks like a white fillet piece of fish soaking in a clear broth. It has so much flavor. It's not like explosive, aggressive flavor. It's just a nice, subtle, clean flavor, but with definite hints of umami inside. This is awesome. Mm. All right, I'm gonna eat this and see what else we can find. There's another place with a huge line. Roast meat noodles. Finally got my food. This took about an hour. If you want to go to some of the most popular food stalls in Singapore, you're gonna have to wait and check out what I got. I waited an hour, so I got two dishes instead of one. And I asked for the duck drumstick and he didn't have it because he sold out. But he told me he got me some meat that's really, really fatty. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this roast duck. Beautiful color on the outside. You can see all that nice fat that's in here as well. And also I got the mixed meat noodles, which is chashu and roast pig. And of course, they're all sitting on a bed of thin, wavy noodles in some kind of dark sauce. Then I saw that the stall next to them, there wasn't a lot of people, um, but they were selling tutu kicks. So I got some tutu kicks. Support the local hawker community. Mm, that is freaking delicious. Actually, I just wanted to buy the noodles, but then a piece of the chashu got mixed up in that bite. I'm still trying to get over how good that tastes. This thing, it's beautifully tender, little fatty. Oh, so tender, so tender. With that nice caramelized sweetness. Chase it with some of the chewy noodles. Wow, I just got a really fatty piece right there. Each piece is perfectly cooked, especially the outside, where you get that nice caramelized flavor from the burnt honey. And this is the roast pig. That skin still retains that nice little crunch. Dip it in the chili sauce a little bit. Mm. The reason why I love this, three different distinct textures, the lean meat, the fat, the crispy skin. Put that in your mouth. That crispy skin wakes your taste buds up. The fatty part just dissolves and disappears. And then you're left with that tender roasted pork that just gets better with every single chew. I'm gonna to try this duck. Oh, this piece looks so good. That's freaking incredible. A couple of bites in, my mouth is just covered with that yummy duck fat. Mm, I love these pieces right here where it's not a lot of meat, it's mainly skin and fat. Chew it a few times and just feel that fat 
render on your tongue just makes everything so much better. Ah, so good. Like, and afterwards, just about 20 seconds later, all I'm left with is just the sense of craving for another bite of this. Mm. Well, that duck is just so fatty and nice. The skin is seasoned perfectly. The texture is wonderful. This is where it pays off. You forget all about standing in line for an hour after taking a bite of this. Oh, I also want to get to the tutu cakes before it gets cold. So you can do a mix of flavors. So I got coconut and I got chocolate. And this is a very traditional little steam cake. Mm. So the outside is really fine rice powder. Inside, melty chocolate. Mm. Oh, I forgot how good that was. And just change that with some iced tea. Mm. This is my favorite part of being in Singapore. Go to Hawker Centers and just trying out some of their best. Well, you get so much for the value too. Mixed meat is $3.50. The duck rice is $4, Singapore dollars. So this whole meal comes to about five US dollars. And it's a lot of food. There's a lot of good food. After this, there's more stuff in Chinatown I really crave. I think we need something spicy. I've been to think about the soup dumpling wonton place ever since getting back in Singapore. And of course, long line, but this is worth it for sure. Oh, I missed this. Spicy chili oil wontons and right underneath soup dumplings. Two baskets, five in each. I remember looking at this when I first um, had this several years ago and I'm like, okay, it, it seems deflated. There doesn't seem to be much juice in here. How good could this be? And then I took a bite mm. of some of the thinnest skin dumplings I've ever been into. Grab some chilies. I spilled my vinegar, so uh, I walk really far. I don't want these to get cold, so I'm not gonna have any vinegar this time. Put some chilies in here. Oh, it's so good. It really doesn't look like it will have that much juice in here, but just take one and put it in your mouth. Mm. It just feels like the juice has been played hide and seek. It all just comes oozing out. Mm. What I really love about this is just how thin the skin is. This dumpling would not be taking speech class in school because its skin is that thin. So thin, so delicate. The filling is plump, like I said, juicy, super flavorful. Some of the best soup dumplings you'll find in Singapore. I also have to get this. Ponyo chow shou, they're wontons. Look at that. The skin is equally thin. It's almost translucent. You can almost see the filling inside the wonton. Covered in chilies, scallions, some soy sauce in here, vinegar. Mm. The way they make their dough that's present to the skin that makes their dumplings and wontons, it's borderline magical. This stuff pretty much dissolves in your mouth. Huge plump filling. And also the sauce is perfect. It's spicy, you taste the vinegary element. You just want to dip the entire wonton, make sure it swims in there and picks up all that great flavor. Mm. This is a must try hawker salt in Singapore. If you're into dumplings or wontons or both, it's so good. And every time I'm in Singapore, this place always pops into my mind. Mm. Some of the best hot oil wontons you can find, not just in Singapore. Some of the best you can find anywhere. Back at this area of Chinatown, where just all stalls of mala food and noodles and buns and dumplings and a McDonald's. Last meal of the day, while in Chinatown, you gotta stop by the most famous mala xiang guo place or your home for a big bowl of mala xiang guo. And since it's gonna be spicy, chase it with a coconut. This giant coconut is about two, 250 Singapore dollars. So much juice inside. Some fried tofu, tofu skin, sprouts, 
beef, woodier, enoki mushrooms, all this giant bowl for about 20 Singapore dollars. Mm. I like the flavor of this place. I don't like the fact that I asked for fatty beef, and this is pretty much the leanest beef I've ever tasted in my life. That's all borderline on chewable. Other than that, it's spicy, it's nummy, it's garlicky, and eating burning hot volcanic mala shangguo while sitting in the Singaporean heat. This is how I like to enjoy Singapore. Also, earlier today, in the nice cooling breeze, it kind of lasted for like 10 minutes. And every time that happens, it's not the first time it happened, every time that happens, I think in my head, oh, today's gonna be a rather cool day. Never the case. So one of the good ways to beat the heat is to make yourself feel just as hot on the inside. That's probably not true. As always, all the places I went to, this is down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.